All right, welcome back to our regular scheduled programming. We're still in Drachnar's Forge in our Prophecies playthrough, uh, and we're going to pick up this quest. I didn't realize that this was actually a primary quest. It says we need to find something or someone called the Seer, and it's going to help us fashion a set of armor capable of protecting one against the Mursat. Even though we did just get max armor, uh, we need to be able to upgrade it through the quest or through the yeah primary quest line that'll help us deal with the mersat remember in the vision from dragon's lair mission we saw that our friends in the shining blade were captured and being hunted by the white mantle so we need to come to their rescue and notice i took some advice general advice from the youtube comments saying that i don't really need a fast casting a mask and I had enough money to just get two masks and use them to swap between a domination build or illusions build I wanted to put a su superior rune of domination but it's like almost 5,000 gold so that's pretty crazy so I, I settled for a, a superior illusion for my illusion build and then a major domination uh, I think either way it's gonna be pretty powerful and yeah, we're bringing back the fragility build, fragility spike, because let me show you here. Um, I've got some henchmen updates here. Check this out. So our henchmen now are running a lot more conditions. Stefan has a pretty cool like support warrior interrupt type build. Reyna is gonna be Poisoning and bleeding our enemies. Poison and bleed. And then... Uh, Claude has a cool elite, which is stealing health. It's kind of like a backfire, but it steals health every time they cast a spell. And then Dunham is more of an interrupter, so that's nice. And then finally, Orion has got his own condition, which is this incendiary bonds, which we've used before. But yeah, we're going to be bringing back the henchman or the fragility spike to hopefully take advantage of all these conditions that we're going to be running so let's put them in like this everyone except brawler brawler little tom does have a condition but it's the same one that we're applying which is deep wound so we're not going to be using him so the idea is we follow our main quest line and by following the main quest line, we should also be able to come in close range to not the northern secret uh, so river peaks. Come in close to this one to get our 15 attribute points. Oh yeah, we're gonna follow this quest line. And then we might have to do one or two missions before we actually get to do that uh, 15 attribute quest. Let's hit it. Notice we're also bringing, or I'm also bringing a signet of capture everywhere we go because every boss from here on out is going to be carrying an elite skill. Really cool to see what kind of uh, abilities we're going to be getting. Look at that spike damage. Almost like. Don't even need to bring any skills. Our our uh, henchmen are so powerful right now, actually. Like, I bet just by flagging our henchmen into a position, they can deal with anything. Sometimes I like to use Leech Signet like that, even though they're not casting a spell, because it, it interrupts the action, I noticed. So it can interrupt a basic attack from a, uh, a melee henchman, for example. Or melee in enemy. I'm liking this setup. Bringing back old school fragility. And honestly, I did not expect Mantra of Recovery to be this useful. It's just... It like puts my skill bar into overdrive. Look, look, look how fast everything recovers. We actually almost 
Yeah, because we're using Mantra Recovery, we actually almost don't need Epidemic. Because we can apply Deep Wound so quickly over and over. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, next time I go to Outpost, I'm gonna get rid of Epidemic. I don't see myself using it that much. Unless they're super clumped up. So left to right here. I have a feeling they're all gonna merge up together. Yeah, let's put... Let's do that. There we go. That's some good damage. Well, that time Epidemic worked well. these guys I just noticed the skill monitor needs to be in the middle like I liked it before Yeah, so our skill bar has some conditions. It's got some damage spiking. It's got some interrupt. It has some uh, hex removal. I think it's a very versatile build. Not going to do as much flat damage as our full domination build we were running. But I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be up against. And I feel like this kind of is more adaptable to many situations and we're not fighting undead so the conditions work pretty well I need to just like cast fragility and just check I want to I'm yeah I'm only going to use fragility here and I want to see how many numbers pop up because it'll be just just from my henchmen okay not much <laughs> not much i'm not gonna lie that was a little disappointing but there, there's some, yeah there's some numbers yeah we're getting some that general spike though between uh with shattered illusions if it if we can get an aoe deep wound spike that, that is a ton of damage, even though it doesn't exactly look like it. Okay, first step of this mission, or this quest. Onar Ironblood. Take us to the Seer. Hello there. Da -da -da -da. Stone Summit, driven for the mines. Ice Caves, that's where we need to go. We're working with them to free her. Whoever would have thought that Deldramore would ally with Crichton Rebels. Strange days, indeed. Oh, so the, the, oh, I see. Yeah, these are the Deldramore Dwarves, and we are the Crichton Rebels. I got it. Oh, that was quick. We're already at the next mission area. What do you got for us, Collector? Yeah, these days, the Collector's... Don't have many choices. Hmm. That must mean there's a lot of items to collect, I guess. So they divided it. Okay, here we go. Scout Shelby, we're going to turn this in and we're going to jump straight into the mission. No waste of time. Let's do this. Ice Caves of Sorrow. Okay, let's see. So this mission, we need to rescue Evenia, our good white mantle friend. We need to be careful because these white, or these uh, Mursat are kind of patrolling by. We do not want to fight them at this point because they will destroy us. Even though there's only three of them, they're level 24. They have a special attack that will just, just absolutely obliterate us until we have the armor upgrade this is a pretty tricky mission 
There's like certain order you have to do stuff in. It's very chaotic also. Grab this way. These ice imps are a little bit scary because they have a lot of burst damage. <laughs> I just captured his mind freeze, which is going to be kind of useless for us. Whoa, what's attacking us from behind? Ouch. Yeah, the ice imps, man, or the, the imps in general, just, they have so much burst. They can really catch your team by surprise. Ice imps, fire imps, they hurt, man. Who died first? Was that Orion? That's not a huge. As long as our monks don't die, it'd be okay. We don't want we don't want our monks and healers to have uh, that's penalty. I'm liking this fragility build. We have a lot of we got a lot going on with it. We got some. Condition exploitation. We got burst damage from that. We got some interrupts. We got hex removal. Very cool. Where are we going? It's a boss. Yeah. Oh, it's a mesmer boss. All right. It's time for us to have two elite skills. It's gonna help a lot. We got. I can't interrupt fast. We pick out this monk first. There we go. All right, what do you got for us? Signet of capture. Crippling Anguish. Ooh, that goes with our build, actually. Illusion. 19 seconds, 5 energy, minus 8 degeneration. Whoa, that's pretty sweet. I could see myself replacing Mantra of Recovery with that later on. I wonder which one is better. We don't need to worry about that right now because we can use both. So these ships, these stone summit ships are just bombarding the area. We have to be really careful. Oops. I think the hex removal is going to come in handy because we're fighting a lot of mesmer enemies it seems. Let me pull this. I don't want these guys coming up behind me. I'm going to pull them down. I'll just, yeah, just aggro them. You guys can fight if you want. Like, you guys can do something. Stefa, no. Don't go that way. Let's move crippling anguish. There. Wow, this shaking screen is rather annoying. Let's hurry up and take these guys out. Need to interrupt that first. Giant stomp. I almost don't need to bring Leech Signet, actually. Just kind of tedious to try and think about interrupting when I need to get through all these skills. This look how slow he moves. Really nice. This crippling anguish is going to be really good to use on 
We get two of them now. This inspired Hex is really good. It's gonna be really good to use on the melee enemies if they're ever attacking and chasing my monks. Yeah, that's crazy. Contra Phantasm is 10 energy and it only gives 15 seconds of minus 5 health regeneration, but Crippling Anguish is just like, it's like similar to Phantasm, but ultra better. It's like better in every possible way. Low energy. Oh, yeah. What is it? Lower energy cost. Lower recharge, maybe. Maybe it's, maybe it's lower recharge, but it lasts longer and it gives minus eight degeneration. It's huge. Oh, we're fighting a boss. Okay. Are these boats. Can I use them? Oh, I can use them. All right. I'm sure that's intended. Be careful not to aggro like these huge enemies. Okay, so like the stone summit are fighting the white mantle. And I guess the Stone Summit aren't interested in helping us. They just want to kill all humans, it seems like. And we just have to... Okay. We were supposed to do that. No, don't kill the... Soul Yaks. Wow, they're fast. <laughs> they're so fast. Oh my goodness. Okay. So far so good. We have a super powerful build with this double elite action going on. Definitely gonna miss this skill bar. And I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need to decide which one I like better, Mantra of Recovery or Crippling Anguish. I like both of them, actually. I'll probably end up keeping quick, Crippling Ang, uh, Crippling Anguish. All right, be careful here. There's some Mursat. Are they walking around? What are they doing? Let me just aggro them this way. Wait, wait, wait. Where are these guys going? No. We should be able to take these guys out fast enough. Nice. Where's the healer at? Oh, there isn't one. Yeah, that's a lot of damage when I put in Crippling Anguish with it. It's kind of a long chain of hexes I need to put on though. It's like one, two, three, four, five skills in a row. I'm still not sure which route. I guess we need to go up this way. Generally, we need to be avoiding enemies. This is supposed to be kind of, like we're, this is a rescue mission, not a assault the base mission. Level 16? Why are these guys so weak? Let's just, just take... Clear as many of these guys out. Looks like we need to go through these doors somehow. Good. 
Yeah, they're all. I'm looking. They all get, have conditions on them at some point. So, condition builds working well. Okay, there's a keg station. It's all coming together. Like, look how fast. Having them both together, I can just spam cri crippling anguish on all of them. I actually really only need these two skills. Now that I think about it. Just these two together makes me put out a lot of DPS. Okay. I think I know where I need to go. Oh, we already have plus 10 morale boost. This is, these are the kind of missions that are a little bit annoying to do as single player because, especially with this item, if I drop it, it just ignites it and I have to go all the way back to the other keg to get another one. Make sure I put deep wound on all of them. that Abbott is getting rid of their hexes and conditions. My my spike didn't work as well as it usually does. This is where inner or uh, enchantment removal would actually come in handy. I thought about bringing one like shatter enchantment or something. Where's some... I don't have a really good map of this spot. Nice, that was a huge spike. Love to see that. I guess I follow, I guess I go where the enemies are. That's usually, usually uh, the way it works, right? Easy mode. Alright, that's one cave. I guess we still didn't find find a way into the holding area. I guess we found a way into the holding area. Do not fight those two guys. Where are they going? I think we need to go up here. This is called the ice caves for a reason. Canceled my spell. That was some good fragility damage. Did you see those numbers pop up? Loving the build. No Mursat. I thought there was a Mursat group coming around here. Wow, I can't even. Oh, they're level 16. I don't need to be that cautious, I guess. Yeah, I can't even finish my combo on anything. I just need to put Crippling Anguish on them. Ah, man, I didn't bring any lockpicks or keys or anything.
Okay, we found them. Where's the... Okay. I was like, do I really have to go all the way back to get a powder keg or whatever? We're all level 16. We're not worried about this. Really nothing they can do. Oh, except that. That kind of hurts. Luckily, they're, count they're casting their AoE on me, and I can just move out of it. They casted it on my team. Would have been another story. Easy. As we learned, like, I could pick up that bow, but salvaging it would just give us some wood, and wood is kind of, kind of cheap. Can I use this to open up? Not the same looking gate. Oh, I did it. Sweet. Okay, the Mursad are coming. Take Avenia to the east. The Deljumor dwarves use the frozen lakes and rivers there for trading. If we just need to escape. Oh, oh, I remember those jade armors or whatever. Take my bow. I won't be needing it where I Oh, she's just going to sacrifice herself like that? To the end of us all. Wow. Didn't even say hello or anything. He's just like Wow. I mean, we could probably fight them. Oh, I need this. Oh, she's leading them away. Okay, that's a relief. See, having two players, it would have made a much bigger difference. Are they coming back? They are coming back. Oh my god. Can I make it? Oh man, it's scary. Like zombies, floating zombies that use magic and kill you instantly. All right. That was a very anticlimactic like sacrifice though. Didn't say hi or anything. Thank you for the rescue. It was just like, "Go. Go on without me." He must have really cared about us. Are they moving? What are they doing? I think that's the bonus over there. We just wait for them. Yeah, I guess we gotta wait for them to move around, move across. I'll speed this up while we watch them move. And off they go. Okay, so they're fighting the stone summit. You should be able to sneak by. Let's go. Okay, I thought for a second he might be like behind a wall or something. It's kind of nice. The Mursad are going to clear out all the doors for us, hopefully. We've come to rescue Warnak Stone Sledge. Oh, we remember Stone Sledge. Some secret pressure that doesn't even exist. If you can find him for us, we can take care of getting him out safely. So I guess this is a Mursat portal. Return news of Stone Sledge. The ham door. That doesn't sound good. Is he still alive? Okay, hopefully we can do this. This is just one Mursad by himself. Oh, he's stuck on a chest. I think we have to fight this guy. 
Can we beat him though? Yeah, look at that degeneration. Oh, I think we're dead because of this stupid chest. Can we do this? Oh my god. Wow, we're seeing the power. I need to need you to interrupt that. Oof. That was close. It was only three of them. I mean, it was like one of them and then two of them. If they weren't separated like that, we would have been screwed. That chest almost cost us the whole mission. Okay, we need to get down to that boat. Are they fighting each other? Yeah, they are. Let's interrupt them. Wow, that was a huge... That was a huge... Deep wound, AoE. I think that was a boss, was it? No. We saved the stone, stone summit just to destroy them. If they had appreciated our help, they could ally with us against the White Mantle, but no. They're too racist and xenophobic. Okay, we can't get to that ice boat. So we need to go along this way. Just follow the Mursat. I guess the seer is not in this mission. We just need to escape in this mission. Seer must be in the next mission. It'll be nice to be able to fight these Mursat. Not be so scared of them. So creepy. Hang back. I don't want my henchmen to do anything stupid here. Oh, the Mursad are getting beaten by the ice ships, though. Nice. There's a uh, one of one of them lingering around. Nice. Okay, so obviously we need to go this way. The Mursad are demonstrating for us how not to do that. I think this is the end of the mission. Oh, he made it across. Go, 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 go. Don't die, Avenia. Good, good. Alright, so the Mursad are done, thanks to the Stone Summit, but we are not done yet. Wow, how are we supposed to get through this huge stretch? Where did the monk boss come from? This monk boss has a really good elite. I remember it's got a uh, mark of protection, I think is what it's called. So strong. Okay, how are we going to do this? Oh shoot. Back up, back up, back up. Okay, it's just the one ship. I thought both ships were firing on it. Fires here, one. Two. Oh, 
Okay, is it random? I, don't, I really don't want to die here. Oh, don't die, don't die. Please. Woo! We made it. We didn't do the bonus, so... Huh. Where's he at? Warnak. Yet again, we're on our... <laughs> no bonus... Streak. We were, uh, we were doing pretty well with the bonus. We did like three bonuses in a row. Maybe we'll have to come back after we are... Um, what's it called when you get the armor... From the series, attuned or something? Attunement? Alright, that is it. That'll do it. This is level 10. We, we, we allied with the wrong dwarves, I think. These dwarves are only level 10. How are they supposed to help us? Get on the boat. Okay. Woo! Get a quick screenshot. Here we go. Good job. I can't believe Sandra is gone. still exist then hear me now Sandra should not have died it wasn't her time but she gave her life so that the rest of us could live on and now I put you on warning you gods who abandoned Tyria so long ago when my time comes and I arrive in the mists my best not know that she's been mistreated for if Balthazar as my witness I will make all of you pay to the end of us all. Now we settle our account with the Mersat. For every drop of our blood they have spilled, we will take two from them. He's angry. Okay, that was a tough first mission back. We got ascended in the Crystal Desert, but it's not easy. We need to figure out how to take out these guys. All right. Looking at some players here. That's cool. Alright, let's keep crippling anguish for now. I really like it. Um, very good. We finished the first mission of the Southern Shiver Shiver Peaks here. I think from Iron Mines. Let's see. Let me let me see the heroes challenge. Yeah. So we can we can do next next episode we're gonna do the 15 point attribute quest and then possibly this mission also but anyway great start a little bit rocky uh against these mersat but we got a cool build we got cool armor and uh excited for the next mission all right so join us next episode and see ya